Good morning everyone! Welcome once again to Let's Play Deus Ex. We're gonna tackle the MJ-12 Hella Base in Hong Kong right quick to get out to Hong Kong proper. It's not a very long or complicated level, it's just one little map, but it'll do for a section, so let's get started. I blew it, JC. I'm sorry. MJ-12 must want you bad. Locked on the chopper and had the nav computer fly straight in. Last doors are shut, my weapons are locked. Weapon lock switches on flight control deck one. Get me back online or we're dead meat. So our primary goal, deactivate the weapon lock on Jock's helicopter. The remote control panel is on flight control deck one. So you might think the obvious start point is just to head down this hallway up toward the flight control decks. I certainly would. Let's check it out. Flight control deck one. Oh, we need to find the key. What about deck two? We can get in here no problem. Push that button to open the munitions bay. And there's a data cube in here. To all flight controllers, after the recent theft of the SH-187, we are re-evaluating our security procedures. Until further notice, Deck 1 flight control has been sealed and troops ordered to barracks. If you need access to flight control, please see Tech Sergeant McKinney, Mackie. Let's check the ventilation shafts out right quick. This one... Oh yes, it leads to a robot we'll want to go ahead and disable. So let's do that. There's a hazmat suit here. Fine and dandy, but we don't actually need it. Oh, we're back out here. Lovely. Let's keep moving for now. And out here we end up inside the munitions bay, the same thing that we opened earlier. There's some white phosphorus rockets here on the ground see all the missiles around as well. Here's a nano key, which opens the munitions bay door. If you're wondering, these steps again just take us back up to the main bay. Don't know what that graphics error is. But there are a couple of multi-tools here, a recoil mod, which I can still put in my normal pistol. Regular rockets and a data cube. Maintenance note. Got a shipment of that experimental fuel, but this is scary stuff. Toxic six ways to Sunday, and while the emergency purge is designed to shunt it into the basement tanks in case of a problem, the fumes alone could creep back up the ventilation system and put most of the facility out of business. Definitely lowest bid contractor work. Until I get, can get a hold of someone to fix this mess, I've slapped a temporary lockout on the purge valve. 99871. Give me a ring at... 443-2334-2388-123 if there's a problem. Now we get skill points for activating the purge valve, so we'll definitely want to do it. But if we want to make sure that it doesn't kill anyone, then we're going to have some work to do first. See, so I'll show you. If we head over here, this is where those fuel tanks are. Careful down there. That fueling equipment installed by the lowest bidder. One time I had to fly a couple of gas technicians to the emergency room. Well, see, we'll do exactly that. We will, as it were, evacuate the personnel before we purge the tech, purge the fuel system. But let's head through this vent shaft. There's one that eventually takes us to the barracks, which is where all the troopers are hanging out. See, 
right, this one I think takes us to the barracks. Up here, it's hard for me to say right off the bat. Sounds like it's also the barracks, just a different part of it. Yes, this takes us up to level two inside the barracks, which is actually a good place to be. But we have to be careful not to get spotted by the camera or any of the troopers. This lock, the lockers up here have some good stuff. There's another munitions bay key, as well as a hundred credits, pepper cartridges, and a pepper gun. You know, I think I might hold on to the pepper gun this time. At least, uh, check out its usefulness for myself. Each of these takes two picks. You will notice a sword on the wall. That is a low-tech weapon we can use. There's a sniper rifle under here. Rather than burn lock picks, I'd rather just use a single explosive, but I'm gonna need to deal with the guards first before that's viable. It's very easy to kill them with the purge, but that would be murder, as far as I'm concerned. Here's a lock pick. Now we can look down on the main room from there. There's this, I think. Not sure where this takes me. They can hear me running, but I don't really care about that. This must be flight control deck one. Well. Nothing useful here. Let's just head back down. This vent takes us to the stairs, which are the last alternative for entering the barracks anyway. Okay, I've got a pretty good idea of how the level's mapped out, but before I even mess with them, there is one other thing to consider. That is the roof. What's up here? Well, another camera for starters. As well as... Two troopers. I at least need to get this camera off before I try to mess with them, so let's go back down. I can't for the life of me remember where the security control computer is. there are a couple of other details I remember. One of the more important ones is the need to eliminate at least one other security bot. But I can't seem to remember how to get to it. I would think back here, but I might be wrong. Of course, I still need to tackle the barracks. I think the security computer is actually inside Flight Control Deck 1 as well. I'll need to find a key to it. <gasps> well, I'm just right back where I started. I think we can get to the robot through there, which we want to do before we unlock Jock's weapons, because the robots get released as soon as he blows open the door. Let's see, I see three guys in the barracks there. If it's really Denton, one of us is going to get a promotion. There's another one. I count five in this room alone. Plus the camera. Here's one. Just takes one lucky shot. There's one down at least. We had a sawed-off shotgun and a med kit in this room. 
more lockers. There's another med kit. Candy bar and cigarettes if you want them. Another vent. Newspaper. UNATCO responds to terrorist attack. New World Press, New York City. A terrorist strike on Liberty Island was blunted this past week when UNATCO forces moved swiftly to neutralize the threat. The attack, the result of a poorly organized attempt to break security at UNATCO headquarters by the National Secessionist Forces, NSF, was characterized by one unidentified source as a futile gesture. Futile gesture. Walton Simons, director of FEMA, worked closely with UNATCO to coordinate both U.S. and UNATCO forces in a joint operation to root out the remaining elements of the terrorist network in New York. Terrorism is very much a snake that slithers out of the tall grass, said Simons. It is our responsibility to always remain alert to the danger it presents and to act decisively when it appears. Authorities are currently attempting to locate Travis Whitsitt, one of the terrorist leaders who escaped in the aftermath of the attack. Well, I don't know how to get up there. I think I should be able to drop the shotgun, though. Bathroom is clear, at least. Where is the key to Flight Deck 1? That's what I need to know. It must be in one of the lockers upstairs. Let's try... Let's figure out which one it is so we can shut off the cameras and deal with everybody. I may just have to burn my two lock picks. On at least one of these. Certainly not worth messing with that one. Pistol ammo and a trophy cup. No thank you. What about this one? Flight control dex code added to nano keyring. We had another one of the locals attempt to hack the security keypad on the elevator. Looks like a kid this time, but he did a pretty good job of staying out of the surveillance field. Anyways, Nicole managed an override before he got in, and she reset the code to 989. Hopefully that'll keep them out until we can get more security on the entrance. And cigarettes. Let's see if the other one up here is even worth it. A multi-tool, and 50 credits. I'm gonna go with no. Not worth it. Let's head downstairs now. Well, not that way. I want to make the same basic check just to see if the one in the bathroom is worth it. If not, then I can just reload and head through the vents to get back out. A gas grenade. Yeah, I'm going to say that's worth it. Let's just get out the main door. That's even easier. If it's really Denton, one of us is going to get a promotion. Alright. So let's head up to Flight Control Deck 1 now. Let's open it up. Getting inside here is worth 75 skill points, which will finally allow me to raise low tech to master. Very good. Here's the security computer I've been waiting on. And shut 
shut off those damn cameras. Let's disable the other bot while we're here. I'm all but certain it's through this one. Indeed, there it is. Disabled. That's what you want to see. Oh, I had found it. I just didn't know it. Alright, good. Now, we can deal with the guys here in the barracks. I suspect the best thing is probably a good old-fashioned gas grenade. But I should see if I can get at least one of them without it. The one who's off by himself. Camera gone. Let Just them takes one lucky shot. Much easier time with all this. Oh my god! It's dead. Remember the briefing. Watch yourself. This one's something else. Where'd he go? That's him. He's still in the area. God! Well damn. I was hoping against hope that they somehow wouldn't spot that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tranquilize this one, and then toss a gas grenade at the other four. It's dead. Remember the briefing. Gotcha. There we go. Now since there's a repair bot out there, I'll just go ahead and use regeneration to heal myself up. It'll automatically deactivate when your health is full, which is nice. Now let's hack this computer. No email today. Nice and easy. Let's read this book in this data cube. We've already read about Project Dimmick. All Hong Kong MJ-12 personnel. Hong Kong is a unique environment for MJ-12 personnel and provides a number of challenges that all members should be aware of on a daily basis. Currently, only tenuous ties exist between MJ-12 and local authorities, though MJ-12 is working to resolve that situation, and consequently, police and security cannot be expected to understand the special nature of MJ-12's charter. Agents, operatives, security, and other personnel should adhere closely to the confidentiality guidelines outlined in your handbook. One key factor in police response is the use of acoustic gunfire sensors scattered throughout much of Hong Kong. Cheap and effective, these sensors use DSP circuitry to alert authorities to non-suppressed, i.e. not silenced, gunfire. This enables police to quickly minimize threat situations in an efficient manner. While these sensors can be disabled, Central Operations does not recommend this course of action, but rather a considered evaluation of any tactical situation to avoid local intervention. Alright. Let's move these guys out of here. I think if we take them all the way up to the flight control decks, they'll be safe from the gas. I'm just going to drop them all right in here. You don't have enough room in your inventory to pick up the assault rifle. I'll drop my get gun. That should let me loot all of them, at least. Alright, good. Now I can pick them up, carry them upstairs, all five of them. Oh yeah, I need to get the guy out of the bathroom too, don't I? Let's not forget him. Is 
down we go, down, 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 all the way to the bathroom. Three guys left. Two guys left. Oh, I remember seeing two guys on the roof, so I'll need to make sure they survive the purge, but I think they will. But I know the gas floods the ground level and kills anyone who's down here. One guy left. That should be it, so let's drop all the junk. I don't want the knife, I don't want the sawed off, I don't want the assault rifle. do want the get gun. It's still down there. Alright. Onward. Let's go do the purge now. I'll just need to make sure that the guys on the roof are still alive afterward. So I'll save right here. believe the relevant code was 99871. And, oh, I found the bathroom. Not where I wanted to be. Let's head over here. Alright, here we go. 99871. This gets us uh, some skill points. Oh, that's not it. 99871. Yes, it is. You just released poison gas into the lower levels. Find a hazmat suit or get out of there. <coughs> we'll go with getting out of here. 50 skill points. Accomplishment bonus. That's the reason we bothered with that. Let's just get out the same way we came in. Go ahead and heal that with regeneration, as before. Let's make sure my buddies in the flight control deck are okay. You can see the gas down in the barracks would have killed them. Uh, I think they're just fine up here. Yep, everybody's fine. Let's go take care of the roof before we just get up and leave. We can go ahead and refill our bioelectric energy, though. Everybody's fine. You'll notice the gap gun if you're paying Another attention. Another damn loyalty check. Let's try this. Let's hit these guys really with dead. pepper what spray. Company? Into the head. Oh. 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 Not gonna lie, I expected to do more than that. Thought if I it's really dead, one of them. Oh my god! Dead. Remember oh. the reason. Oh. 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 There it went. Yeah, that's pretty useful. I'll hold on to it. Although the delay between spraying them and them getting stunned is definitely a problem. Knife and assault rifle, that one had a gap gun. So 
just regenerate again and head over here. A crate full of swords. Awesome. We've we've cleaned the place out. We're fully explored. Let's just find the repair bot again. There he is. And let's head up to flight control deck one, unlock Jock's weapons, and then this small level will be over. Just have to hit weapons lock. Back in business. Come on down and stay clear of the blast doors to the south. I'm gonna launch a missile. Here he goes. That little move, of course, you'll notice opens the bay doors behind which are the bots, which we had the foresight to have already disabled. Now to get through here, unscathed, we need to use a whopping three multi-tools. I'm cool with that. However, now that low-tech is mastered, it's readily apparent that it's now time to focus on raising lockpick and electronics. So, we're through. Let's hop in the elevator. That gives us another 175 skill points, bringing me up to a whopping 228. And let's head down. Wan Chai Market, Hong Kong. We've arrived at one of the game's most famous locations. Hong Kong is a huge hub, way bigger than New York, way more to do. It also happens to be my favorite part of the game, but for now, we'll call the Hella Base a section. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.